Hello there and welcome. I'm Ole Borger, and if you're new here, I really hope I'll earn your subscription today. We have moved out in my little workshop and I just made a haul of new prints. And it's been a while since I had prints like this because a short while after I changed the LCD, I ran into trouble. I had six, maybe seven successful prints in a row and I thought everything was good. But suddenly things started to fail. The prints, they fell off my build plate. We got something to talk about. Let's get started. The prints failed, they fell off, and sometimes I only had a tiny blob on the build plate and the rest was in the bottom of the resin tank. I thought, okay, maybe it was something about the PFA film. Did this PFA film wear out very fast? I didn't think so. And by the way, this resin tank from C2 Systems is awesome. You can switch out the PFA film within 30 seconds to one minute. It is awesome. This was not the problem. Was it the resins? No. I've used these resins a lot and I rarely have any failures or problems with it. So what is it? And then I started to think if it was not the PFA film, it was not the resins, could it be something about the build plate? Because the miniatures started to fall off in one side in the beginning and I had okay prints in the other side, but then it just got worse and I lost almost everything on the build plate. I searched the internet, I searched a lot and I found a lot of tips and was it the settings? Because I haven't changed that and I tried some few things, but I still had a lot of problems. So what could it be? I read someone said, you need a new build plate. I didn't think I want to buy one of these new build plates, but I bought one of these magnetics and it didn't change. So it was nothing about the surface. I ended up actually buying a new build plate and I didn't have luck with that either. This printer has an auto level function and it does that every time you start a print. How can you manually adjust the build plate? Because I thought this must be the problem. I had the problem with my old Saturn S and I needed to adjust the build plate and make some leveling for that. And then I could print again. But this time, how do you level something that has an auto function only? There's a new update for the software in this printer. I will show you how it works. But the first version was not complete because it didn't tell you what you actually had to do. And it all comes out to these four screws. Heads up, the first time I tried it, it was a pain because when you loosen these screws, the build plate goes down and when you tighten them, it will go up. So before you begin, just turn these 180 degrees, half a turn on each screw, and it will make your life a lot easier. Before we start leveling, you will need to do a couple of things. You need to get some of these leveling cards. I just cut these out of some A4, 300 grams paper. They actually work perfectly. Sometimes the printers comes with these cards, but I apparently didn't. You also need a piece of ordinary printer paper. This is just an A4 piece of paper I took out from my printer. The printer is booted up. Where are we going to find this manual leveling software? My first thought, okay, we have to go to tools, but there's nothing here. You can do a device self-test and resin calibration. That won't help you. No, you have to go to settings and then they put it in a weird spot, accessibility features. Here you got it, manual leveling. 
and it will start right away. It even has a small guide here. I already installed the build plate, so I'll just press next. The resin tank is also removed, and then you will need these four cards. You just place them in each corner and press next. And one other thing, make sure your build plate is totally clean for resin because you are going to mess up the LCD and have a lot of cleaning after this. And now we've got a touchdown. Now the printer is running a test and it will show you this graph how it is trying to level the build plate. Now we should be able to remove these pieces of card. And if you haven't loosened these screws, you can only loosen them, which means you will push the build plate further down and tighten the piece of paper. But if they are a bit loose, it is a lot easier if these pieces of paper are a bit stuck. This one here is pretty stuck, but I can pull it out. And then we should be able to slide in this piece of A4 paper, but it is almost impossible. So now I will need to tighten these screws. I should be able to put it in. I can feel, okay, it is a bit tight over here. So I will tighten the screw to get the build plate up. Here behind it is also a bit stuck. So I will tighten the screw a tiny bit. And the same goes for this. Okay, it's a too loose over here. Then if it's too loose, you will have to loosen the screw a bit. And this works. What do we have over here? Now it actually feels like I have the same tension all over the build plate and the piece of paper. Oh, I think we still need to tighten this a bit because it was a tiny bit loose over in this corner. And now it actually feels like the build plate is level. And then we can press next and the manual level is complete. Now the printer will start to calibrate as it does when it boots up. And manual leveling is now successful. We can press confirm and the build plate will move up into its home position. Now we are actually ready to print. I will put on some gloves. This is very important because you don't want resin on your fingers. It can give some nasty rashes and it's not very healthy. I always have a piece of paper towel in hand when I'm going to pour some resin. For this print, I will use this black resin from Shito Systems. This is just a standard resin. And this is where the paper towel is very handy because I'll just wipe it off here. Let's see if we can get a perfect print. We now have a perfect print. I'm very happy about I can print a lot more now without my prints are falling off. This is how you level your printer, even though originally it only had an auto level function. But sometimes you need to do it manually. Thank you so much for watching and if you already haven't done it, 
please hit that subscribe button, leave a comment below, and I will see you soon. Goodbye for now.